Hey, hey everybody, this is Melina from ScrapbookMMA.com and me, Crafty Scrapper, here on YouTube and Instagram. Uh, today I wanted to bring you a little special tutorial uh, from a vintage uh, authentic collection that I found in my scrapbook room. This is um, old as far as years old that has it has been in my um, stash and then it is a vintage look also. I want to make a little keepsake uh, expandable file folder of sorts to um, add some cute little trinkets and maybe some photos and things like that from the holiday season for this year. So I wanted to share with you how I make that happen. So this collection is called the uh, Glistening Collection. And um, I mean, it's just what I'm going to use. You do not have to use this paper, of course, because it is discontinued, retired, whatever you want to call it. So um, just use what you have. I'm sure that you have Christmas papers left over from previous years. So just grab some of that. If you've got some 12 by 12, that's great. Um, I think with the measurements on this that you'll be able to use some smaller pieces too if you don't have 12 by 12. Now, I am going to go ahead and get this out of the way and apologize for my tired voice. Um, anybody that has been with me long enough knows that um, we have a gospel singing group and we just came off of eight days on the road singing and um, in a convention. So um, I have talked and I've talked and I've talked and I've talked and I've talked. And then when I wasn't talking, I was singing. <laughs> so my voice is tired. Um, I almost, uh, let's say sun, this past Sunday evening, almost lost my voice and we had a singing uh, Sunday evening at um, a little town called Ultawa, Tennessee. Uh, if any of y'all are familiar with that part of Tennessee, we were there Sunday evening at a church singing and it took every fiber of my being to get those notes out Sunday because I was spent or, or my, my voice was. I was physically tired too but my voice was very tired Sunday and I sound cruddy but I'm not it's just my voice it's a very tired voice I get like this um, after we've been on the road for a few days and um, I kind of sound like I could sing quite a few bass notes really <laughs> but um I'll get better and my voice will get better. It always does. The Lord always blesses with that. And um, so I'm not worried or concerned. Um, we have, or let's say our next singing is November, I think, 14th, uh, close to home in Athens, Alabama. And I'm not concerned. I know that the Lord's going to touch me and that's all going to be fine and dandy. We're all going to be good. Um, this just always happens after we come home. Uh, so anyways, you will hear the raspiness and the cruddiness in my voice uh, the next few videos because I am um, recording quite a few in one day. Um, as you all know, I do work at scrapbookingwithme.com at our, um, where we ship out all of your orders. I work there too. And I'm a substitute teacher. Um, so in between all of that, I try to take one or two days a week and get all of my videos for the week done and scheduled out. So you'll hear the same voice for a few videos now. <laughs> I am going to pick a paper and I'm not going to take much time on that. I love polka dots, but I also love this one. So, um, I'm going to go ahead and I want my pockets that are going to be in this expandable file folder. I want them to be able, um, be wide enough and able to hold a four by six picture if I want to add that to this little creation. So I need to make sure of how big I want 
my pocket. So I'm going to cut this little branding strip off of here. And I'm not going to throw this away because if you have any authentic uh, paper, you know on their branding strip they have um, the colors and things, of course, of what's on the back. And then they also have wording usually. And this one says, we have only this moment sparkling like a star in our hand and melting like a snowflake. Marie Ray. So that's a little quote and I'll probably snip that off there and use that on something so I don't throw the authentic branding strips away. Alright, so first I'm going to make the um, pockets for the inside. Um, and this is going to be, I'm going to have a file folder for Brandon, my husband, uh, Aaron, our son, and Bethany, our daughter, in this expandable file folder. And um, the little tabs that I'm going to put on each pocket are going to say, from Brandon, from Aaron, from Bethany. And I'm going to put, or I might just put their names. I don't know yet. I hadn't figured that one out yet, or settled on that one anyway. Because this is for um, things you might get from them so the picture would be of you with whatever they gave you or um, something attached to that thing you can slide down in there we're going to make little note cards to put in each section so that um, I can uh, make little notes of you know what they gave or uh, what they did for me or you know things like that and just kind of sentimental things writing uh, little journaling notes and putting in each little pocket. So um, each one is going to have expanders on the side so I'm not going to worry about that with this but on the bottom it needs to have that fold under um, to expand out and give you a little bit more room. So wide I need okay I'm going to put it four by six sideways down, so that's six inches wide. So let's go six and three quarters wide. So right on the edge, if you've got this Fiskars um, trimmer, it's right on this edge right here, six and three quarters. So I'm going to go six and three quarters. So that is my width. So that's how wide I need it. And then it's going to hold four by six, so it's got to be at least four tall. And then we've got to have that fold under on the bottom. So let's go five, and then we can have a have a half inch fold under, and that will still give us four and a half tall. Or should I go five and a quarter, and then do a half? Let's do that. Five and a quarter. <laughs> Uh, so indecisive. <laughs> Alright, this is going to be my front piece. So, five and a quarter by six and three quarters. So, five and one quarter by six and three quarters. So, there's one. Uh, that's Brandon. Now, let's do an Aaron one and then a Bethany one. Okay, I'm going to do this blue star snowflake paper here for Aaron, and we're going to cut that six and three quarter inches. by five and a quarter inches. Okay, there's our other one. And then one more. Now, you could make this as wide as you wanted to. Now, it would just be thicker. So, the belly band that we're going to put around it, you would just need to expand that out more because, you know, you would have a thicker um, folder. Now, let's see what I want to use. For Miss Bethany, 
I really like that polka dot. Let's just go ahead and use it. No sense in saving it. Just use it up. All right, that off. And then one more pocket. These would be really cute little gifts too. And you wouldn't have to, you don't have to make them, of course, Christmas themes. You could make them whatever theme you would like. And give them. My husband is on a business call in the other room, so you shall hear him. Alright, so I'm going to get my scoring tool out. And on the five and a quarter side, I'm going to score at the half inch mark. Okay, now this authentic um, cardstock is a little thicker, and that's why I went ahead and went over it a few times. So, see, we're going to have that bent upward to help with our folding. I hate that, that I'm covering up that little chubby baby <laughs> on the back. I don't have any chubby babies anymore. I miss that. I miss miss baby stage of course now if we had a baby in the house I would say oh I can't wait for them <laughs> to get older <laughs> uh, isn't that how it goes you always wish for what you don't have and then you miss it when you don't have it anymore it's crazy how life goes ain't it but yeah I do miss the baby stage I also miss the toy stage of Christmas when all the kids liked getting toys and stuff which you know trying to find those toys was always a headache but I miss that stage of them liking toys and getting the big catalogs and looking through them and seeing the commercials on TV and going oh mama I want that one I want that one you know and then you going out or excuse me Santa Claus trying to find <laughs> find those things for them I miss that I really do okay let's make our expanders and then we're going to make the little case to go around it okay so they're going to go together like so Ooh, my lighting is doing something weird right there like so with the folds on the inside of each one see okay so we need our expanders on the outsides here Ooh, I don't know why my lighting is doing that maybe it's because it's on that brown one that's probably it look at there okay um and that's brown it's not gold or metallic or anything so I don't know what what's going on there um let's find what we want to make our expanders out of for my belly band so i want to go ahead and cut that off let's see <clears throat> how thick we want to cut that because i want a thick belly band i'm going to go three and a half on that bad boy right there yep i sure am three and a half so three and a half is going to be our belly band width since we folded that under now we have four and three quarters so it's four and three quarters tall each pocket is four and three quarters tall so we need to make our expanders I'm going to make them four and a half because you want to make them a smidge shorter than what they actually are there so four and a half I'm going to go ahead and cut that and then I'm going to do two inches wide for each one so four and a half by two Then I have all of my pieces cut 
two inches wide by four and a half tall. So with each one of those, I'm going to score at the half inch mark, the inch mark, and the one and a half inch mark. Okay, so you've got three score lines in the middle of your expander and you're just going to accordion it back and forth okay and make your little two tenths or an m or a w or your two mountains in one valley okay there's your expanders and they are two inches wide and you're scoring it at half an inch, one inch, and one and a half inch. Okay, so I'm going to do that to all of these. Remember, you have two expanders for each pocket. So if you're doing three pockets like I'm doing, you're going to need one, two, three, four, five, six expanders. Okay. So go ahead and score each expander at half inch, one inch, and one and a half inch. I have folded all of my expanders. I'm just going to go over them with my bone folder just to make sure those folds are nice and creased. And just checking them to make sure they're pretty even. And then checking to make sure that you have two mountains and one valley. Okay. Then if you want to ink, go ahead and do that. And your mountain peaks are going to be what shows on the side of your pocket here okay so i am only going to ink my mountain peaks and this is dark cardstock so it's not going to show up too much but i'm just going to do that anyway and then i'm going to also ink my pockets over here Look how bright that lighting is. That's so weird. Maybe it's just because of the time of day I'm videoing. Because the window behind me, I mean, it's showing a lot of light. But, I mean, I've recorded it this time of day before. Who knows? It might be the camera technology. You know, that's just craziness. Maybe it's just because I have it on the side. Of, I don't know. I'm not going to worry over it. If it's too bright, I'm sorry. I will eventually move something and you'll be able to see it a lot better. So, I apologize. Oh, I'm going to um, round my top corners with my one-fourth corner rounder. Go ahead and round those. Remember, this is the bottom because you've got that fold over, that half-inch fold over. So, you don't have to worry about the bottom. Just round the tops. There we go. And then I am going to ink all of my edges just kind of lightly. I'm not going to dirty it up too much. It's just going to take too much time if I try to. So I'm just going to lightly do that. And I'm going to go ahead and ink my bottom half inch fold over also and I'm using walnut stain so there's that one why in the world that's so bright I have no clue um, and then this one and it is brown it is come it's showing up it's like a tan taupe color but it's showing up very very craft color on camera for whatever reason today I'm just going to blame it on technology because we know it's not operator error. I mean, you know, 
I'm just great at all this stuff. That's why I never get thumbs downs. <laughs> oh man, I made myself laugh on that one because that's a big old lie. Oh, uh, let's see. Especially if I mention Jesus or that Jesus loves you or that I love Bible journaling. I always get thumbs down when I mention that. But guess what? I'm never going to stop proclaiming that. I will always speak highly of my Jesus. So I'm not going to start preaching here on this video, but y'all can thumbs down me all you want. And I'm just talking to the select few that do, of course. I love all, all of my subscribers, but I'm just talking to the select few little trolls that like to come on to my videos where I mention Jesus and the love of his word and thumbs down them. So there you go. I will never stop. So you can keep on all you want to, but I'll never stop talking about my Lord and Savior. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to connect these on like so. And then this piece that's folded over onto the back, you know, that half inch that we did on each pocket, that piece is going to be adhered to the next folder, like so. All right. So what we're going to do is we can fold out that piece. Make sure that your expander does not go over that little fold line there. And we're going to connect our expanders. Now remember, the valley, that one valley that you have, is on the inside. Your two mountain peaks or your two tent tops are facing outward. Your finished edge that you inked is going to be showing here, not the raw edge, okay, not the open edge. And I am just going to put mine on with some Barely Arts or um, any liquid glue, art glitter, whatever, uh, or you can use um, score tape, also double-sided tape of whatever your heart's desire. But this holds just as well and does very well with this, as a matter of fact. So I'm going to go pretty much in the middle of that side edge. And then just making sure that I'm not going over my fold line here. And then it's not coming up over where I've rounded that corner so it doesn't show on the top. Okay. So there's expander one. I'm just looking to make sure that it's lined up properly. It's over just a little bit right there. So I'm going to move that down some. Okay. So expander one looks good. Let's go for expander two. And let's see, we're doing it this way. So, oh, let's see. I don't guess it matters. I've got my words upside down on the inside, but all that's just going to show when I open up the pocket. So I'm not worried about that. I'll try to make sure that the words are right way up on the next one. All right, so we've got our expanders on. And then there is our piece at the bottom there okay so this piece and our expanders are going to glue on to our next pocket okay so we've got that there and then that's going to give us a little extra space at the bottom see because we've got that little expander there and then when we connect these expanders to the next pocket, it's going to give us even more of a little expansion there. I really like how this is coming together. So, 
I'm going to put a little dot of glue on the bottom of each one of my expanders. I'm going to push over that half inch fold. Just hold it for a few seconds until it sets and is not coming apart from your expanders. And then just a little line of glue on your bottom half inch and then a little line of glue on your expander. And then line up your next pocket with that a half inch expander on the bottom or gusset to the back and then you're going to line them up and flatten it out and make sure everything is on correctly lined up correctly and then make sure our tops of each one. Oh, how cute. I love it already. Alright, then I'm going to get my bone folder and just lightly, since we're working with liquid glue, we don't want to press down too hard. Go over those just to make sure that they're sticking together well. Alright, so there is our, I don't want to pull too hard. It's going to expand out even more once it's dry. But there's our little expanders. So you might be thinking, why in the world did you make so many expanders? Because you, when you put these two together, you're going to have two extra expanders. But you're not. Once we put our cover on, then your third pocket. So this will be my Brandon pocket, and this is my Erin pocket, and this is my Bethany pocket. Okay, so when we put our cover on, this pocket is going to attach to that back cover. Okay, so that's why we need all of those expanders. Okay, so on this one, I'm going to fold that half inch down and I'm going to try my best to get my words upright on this one. So a little line of glue and line it up and then you can see your expander on the other pocket, on the pocket we just did. We can see it so we can kind of use that as our guideline on how to line that one up okay just like that and i have my words upright yay <laughs> okay and then turn it around and let's do these words upright so i need to do it on this side and then just go by that pocket that is in front of you as your guide on where to put that expander and this one needs to go up some and then to the edge a little more right and then my little dot of glue there and there and bring my little flap up over that and hold that down until it catches on to it pretty good. I'll put my line of glue on my expander and then my bottom expander up the other side. And then remember expander on the back. You're putting this pocket onto that pocket. Okay. We're lined up good. Oh that's looking pretty on the edge. Those expanders are very pretty. I like the dark color. Okay, I'm going to hold that down for a few seconds. And just go over lightly. There. Okay. And we're going to look and make sure that we don't have any excess glue that might hold these pockets together and we don't that looks good so we're going to do our cover 
So we've still got this one to attach to the cover, so no worries. Uh, we're going to do a cover, like a file folder, you know, the old expandable file folder covers. We're going to do that. Okay, let's see. We have got six and three quarters wide, remember. So we need to go six and three quarters wide on this also. I messed up that paper, so I'm gonna, I had to come and get the other piece that I'd already cut a stocking out of a few years ago. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to go a little wider than I cut the wrong side of the paper. I cut the side that had the lady on it, and I wanted this side that just had the blue speckles on it. Okay, so that is good. And then I'm going to fold over. Yep, I won't need all of this, so that is great. I love having more than what I need, than less, because great goodness knows I would mess something up. And then I'm going to round these edges because these are going to be my front flap edges that I put on here. So if I come down three inches from the top at three and a quarter, so my first score line is going to be at three and a quarter. So first score line is three and a quarter. I needed to have turned that over to make my valley on the other side. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and fold this and see what that looks like. Pretty. All right, and then I'm going to give myself a quarter inch gusset at the top, a little space at the top. So I'm going to score again at three and a half. I'm just going to leave my scoreboard right here until we finish all of our score lines. All right, I'm going to score again. I'm going to score that once more here. And then I'm going to score at three and a half. So three and a quarter, three and a half. That's our score lines just right beside each other. So bend it over. And those are just a quarter inch apart, so it's going to be a little hard maybe. But if you'll get those two score lines folded over. Okay. So we've got our top flap there. Oh, that's pretty. Oh yeah, I like that. See, and we've got that space there. So there's our top flap. And so then we will need to cut it off at eight and an eighth. So eight and an eighth. I know it's like what in the world? That's a weird measurement, but that's what I need. Eight and an eighth. You want to trim that off. So we end up our cover is eight and an eighth long. By just a smidge over six and three quarters wide. And then if you want to ink, now is the time to do that. I'm going to ink both of my little fold lines up top. Just kind of bend them over and ink both of those. And then I'm going to go around my front flap and then all around the back too. And I didn't mention earlier if you want to um, ink the insides of your pockets too before you put them together. Of course, by all means do that. I'm not too concerned about that. I'm good with just inking the fronts of my pockets. 
So eight and an eight, that's going to give you enough room at the back here to um, get all of your gluing done to that last pocket. I love this little project. So cute. I'm going to use my one inch circle punch and I'm going to go ahead and do my little notches that I want and I'm going to need to do my little tabs in my notches because of my gusset piece at the top of the cover. So I'm going to do pretty deep little notches here. Do one there and then one here. I'm not going to be too concerned with where those ended up. I like that and I'm going to ink down in my little notch that I made on each one. I'm going to go ahead and put on my expanders on this back one. So I've got my last pocket, the expanders on, I've got my glue on, and I'm going to line it up with the bottom of my cover. That looks good. I like that. All right, let's fold that cover over. And then just kind of push down on those expanders with your bone folder. Just making sure everything is sticking and staying. All right, I love that. Um, if you want to decorate these pockets, of course, go ahead. I think I will um, ink this inside flap here just because it is going to be seen quite often when you open it up. And then my little tabs that I put on are just going to be, if you wanted to, you could make your um, score lines taller and make this longer. And if you would make your score lines a little further out, you would have a taller piece here and you could make tabs, you know, as tall as you wanted to. My tabs are going to be really short, skinny down in there. I'm just going to use some of the papers from the collection here for my tab. So let's do this brown polka dot and I'm going to do the little folded over tabs. Um, not that you will see really the back at all, but I want to make it the folded over kind. So let's do this. Just use this little scrap piece off of this polka dot and see if I can't get a folded over tab out of it. I think it will be tall enough. Let's see. I'm going to put that down in there, the fold on top, and seeing the top there. Okay, so there's our little fold over, and I like that side better than just the three little dots on that side. So I will ink that and add it probably there, and just right at the top of each of the little pockets, right beside the little thumb holes. And far enough down there so that it doesn't mess with my top, okay, that top flap. And I'm going to handwrite. Now you could, because, you know, I'm, I'm pretty okay with my own handwriting. If you are not, you could use a typewriter if you wanted to. Um, 
however you want to write or put your labels on. Um, if you have a label maker, you could do it that way. I don't have one of those, so I'm just going to do handwriting. Oh, you could also do like little, little um, alphabet stickers if you have tiny ones. You could do that. Um, but I'm just going to handwrite on mine. So there's my first tab I'm adding. Okay, second tab. Third tab. And I love how this looks. I just found this out by looking at it like that. I love how that looks kind of layered over the little circle. So you don't see all of the circle. I love how that looks. So I'm going to do that on each one of my flaps. So I'm just barely going up a little bit over this. So like a sixteenth of an inch, my tab will pop up over this. So just barely up over it. And I'm just like that. But before I put them on, I'm going to write the names on there. So let's see here. So I'm just going to write their names. And okay, so there are my handwritten labels. And I'm going to do glue on either side. Just a little line will do. Need to put it just a little bit more here all the way down, Melina especially the parts that are not going to be touching each other. Okay. All right, so there are my tabs, Brandon, Aaron, and Bethany. Okay, and you've got nice deep pockets there with your expanders on the side. And then I'm going to use some copy paper but it's dyed so like some um, add a couple of pieces of uh, coffee dyed paper in each pocket and then I'm going to add a couple of pieces of this wood grain since there was wood grain in that also I'm going to add a couple of pieces of wood grain paper that is, um, let's see, let's do four and a quarter by six and a quarter. I'm going to do that so I can use those as photo mats. So I'm just going to put one in each one of them, six and a quarter wide, and then four and a quarter tall. I um, went ahead and inked around the edges of these little photo mats here that I'm going to add to each pocket. So you've got one photo mat in each pocket, but you can put a photo on both sides. So it's like double the fun. Alright, I'm going to put this one in Brandon's little pocket. Look how nicely that sits down in there. And then the wood grain one in Aaron's little pocket. And then this other, ooh, I like that side. So like there it. are our little photo mats in each pocket. And then I want to cut these down a little bit smaller than those. Just so I'm going to put two sheets in each pocket. So I've got two sheets here. I'm going to cut them down. And I want to do them at five and three quarters wide. Just so that they can be a little bit smaller than what else is going to be in there. And these are going to be our little um, journaling pieces. So I'm going to go uh, three and three quarters. So three and three quarters by three five and three quarters. So there's two already like this and then just down in there. So you've got your two little pieces of journaling. I love that. So let's do this one at three and three quarters. 
go in Bethany's little pocket and I'll put those behind there. So we've got a photo mat and two journaling spaces with coffee dyed paper in each pocket. And then, all right, so my top flap is wanting to crease into the top of my pocket. So I'm going to make another score line at the three inch mark. And yes, there will be three score lines at the top. I am good with that. You know those accordion, old vintage accordion file folders had all kinds of stuff at the top. Oh yeah, that gives me the room that I'm needing. I'm going to do it over this way and then I'm going to do it over that way. And then those two will be my top two. And then this one will just be that bend as we're going over. Let's ink this new one that I did here. You don't have to do that if you don't want to. It was just messing with my head as far as how far it was coming down. It was wanting to bend that down for whatever reason. So now I've got plenty room even if I want to stick something up a little bit higher in the pockets so I'm good with that so I just wanted to show y'all that I did do that okay I'm going to I've got my 12 by 12 belly band I'm going to fold this at four and seven eighths because that gives me a little bit more room and I don't have that score line on my score pal so I'm just going to line my paper up I've folded it over where it needs to be I'm going to push my paper up to the five inch line and score it there then push it back so that gives me my four and seven eighths and then five and a quarter so four and seven eighths line and then your five and a quarter line okay so that gives you your girth at the top that you need and then you're going to fold the rest of your 12 by 12 paper up and then make sure that it is folded straight and then you're going to put it back and it is better to measure lots lots more than you need so that is what I'm going to do I'm going to go ahead and ink all around my belly band and then adhere it with some score tape all right I'm going to square up my top there okay and that is where I'm going to adhere it I'm not going to pull it all the way down I'm going to square up the top and then adhere it there so I'm going to put me some score tape at the top here. I'll do a little quarter inch piece under that and we'll get that good and closed up without it showing. I had someone asking what I used to pick the score tape off the backing off with and that is our stylist that we have listed in the um, shop. It's under the tools category so look for that stylus set and in that set there is a um, stylus that has a little prick on it it's very um, sharp but not you know knife sharp that will be in that three piece set and you can use those to score you can uh, use those to prick off that. You can use them in embossing. They're a very, very handy tool to use, that 
stylus set. I love that little billy band. That is just too precious. I love that. The, my lighting is very, very bright in here. It's kind of washed out looking, but it is very darling. I will have you some still shots at the end, of course, and um, you can see this more up close and personal. But I love that little billy band. It could have been a little bit tighter, but I'm okay because once I start filling this up, this will expand out some. See, it's going to expand out. And you don't want your belly band to be too tight um, because then you would have to actually bend this to put it in to your belly band. So I like how that looks. Let's get a couple of decorations maybe. I love this little sticker. It says, we shall find peace, hear the angels, and see the sky sparkling with diamonds. It's a quote for from Anton Chekhov. Um, but of course, that is the same color. So I'm going to use a little piece of this paper as a backing. And I'm going to put that there. And then this little uh, frame says warm memories. So I'm going to put that there on the bottom. There is my decoration for the front and then my belly band over the top and I promise you it's easy to get on. <laughs> it just didn't want to cooperate there for a minute. So there is my little expandable file folder for my memories, holiday memories, things that um, were a highlight for the holiday this year. And I have my picture mats, my photo mats in there, and my little journaling pieces just of that coffee dyed paper, and my great little expandable pockets. And then this can be something after I fill it up this year, I can um, have it as home decor just sitting out with our holiday thing so I will store this with my holiday decor and it can sit out each year and I'm glad you stuck around with me y'all have a great day I'll see you in the next video have a blessed day bye y'all mm -hmm.